Hi, this is Brad with Copper Creek Cuts, a lawn care company in Northeast Florida. And as you may be able to tell, using your context clues, uh, I've stuck my mower. And actually, I just rubbed my pant leg all up on the mud. That was real smart. So what I thought I'd do is take this opportunity to do two things. One, give you an illustration of why I don't really like mowers that have stand-on mowers, I should specify, that have kill switches in the platform. So if you don't know this, Bobcat has a kill switch in the handle. And what that means is that if you let go of the handle while the mower is out of park, it'll shut down. Now it's gonna be different for every type of mower, but at least in this one, that's how this one works. Now certain brands, I wanna say Skag and Wright are a few of them. If you step off of the platform, that will trigger a kill switch. The reason I don't like that is because you can't ever get off and push your mower if your kill switch is on your platform. Here, I'll show you. And at least for me, I'm all alone out here, it's just me. The alternative is pulling a truck that, well, this whole area is kind of muddy, so I, I don't really have the option of using something else to pull myself out, so I need to unstick myself. With a stand-on mower, with the kill switch in the platform, I would not be able to do that, and th at this point, I'd have to give up. So I'm gonna try and see if I can get it out using just my own body strength and leverage and, you know, pushing and pulling, however the best way I figure that out is probably forward, because I think backwards is a little rutted up. And if I can't do that, then we'll switch this video to a demonstration of these, which gun to my head, I can't even think of the name of them. They're made by somebody called Sub-Zeros. I wanna say they're like Grippets. It reminded me of cheese it when I heard it, so maybe that's it. But if not, if I can't push it out, then we'll go ahead and use these to get it out, or try to get it out. Okay, so as you can see, I, I didn't really try that too much, but I don't think it's, <laughs> I don't think it's going anywhere. Uh, so at least in this instance, did having the kill switch in the handle save me versus the, uh, the platform? No, I, I still couldn't get it out with myself. That being said, I still prefer mowers with kill switches in the handle because there have been times where I've been able to unstick myself by, by pushing uh, rather than, than standing on there. So kind of a bum case in that scenario that I couldn't show you exactly what I mean but at least we do now get to try these things which I'm thinking I think that deck is hung up so we're just gonna have to back up Thank you so much. I was trying to see if I could push it out and then test these things, but I don't think it's working. So I appreciate it. Okay, thank you. I'm Brad. I uh, I knew this area always gets flooded, but I had those things, so I was like, oh well, if I get stuck. But I think the issue is that because I was trying to do a video review of them, I let that mower sit for five or six minutes while I went back to, and it just. Over time, it just sank. I think yeah. this thing would work if it just weren't, you know, already up to the rim in mud. So, yeah. Yeah. you're a lifesaver. I appreciate <laughs> it, Mr. Andy. Well, thank you again. I really do appreciate it. Have a good rest of the day. What's the moral of that story? Well, some days you can have a mower with a kill switch in the handle and not a stand on platform. And some days you can have your, whatever these things are called. Sometimes you're just gonna need somebody with a big old jacked up country truck to help unstick your mower. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. So I've never claimed to be the smartest guy on YouTube, but I think at this point I may have to take title for the dumbest. I went ahead. <laughs> so that's where I got stuck first. I said, well, I think it only gets muddy around there, so let me just try and, and get a little, and you can see the tire tracks turning, so you know that I was, I was trying to turn out of the curve, so it's not like I was just gonna say, oh, I'm gonna do the whole thing. I was like, ah, oh, this is about where I think. Sure enough, I got stuck again, and this time, 
I don't know if you can hear that, I'm out of breath because we talked about what the issue was with it sinking over time. So I sprinted to the truck and running got those things and I wish I could have filmed it for you because <laughs> it, uh, it proved exactly what I was saying about the, the kill switch in the platform. If, if I would have had a kill switch in the platform, I wouldn't have been able to get myself unstuck right there. And so basically what I did was uh, put those up against the tire and the, the mower was, it couldn't get enough traction to spin the wheels by itself. So what I was doing was I popped that up so I had a little bit more room and then I was just doing one hand backwards and one hand yanking. And finally the momentum of me yanking was enough to get it up onto these things here. And uh, from there, these work beautifully. It let me, I mean, well, you can see it. It went right over those. And uh, this is the area where I'm, I'm able to drive. So I felt like, I, I gotta tell you, this is the worst feeling in the world. Not because I got stuck again, but because uh, <laughs> I thought of how stupid it must look. This guy just helped me, Andy. And I was like, oh, if I have to go ask him five minutes later for help again, I, he's just gonna hate me. He's gonna think I'm the dumbest. I, I may already be the dumbest person alive, but anyway, so. Like I said, that would have proved my point if I had to film that. But as soon as that happened, I said, oh, dear Lord, sprinted to the truck as fast as I could. Got the, uh, I still can't think of the name of them, but got those. And, uh, and yeah, yanked, worked the, walked the mower back, yanked it back so it finally caught on those. So those things do work really well, uh, but it helps if you're not an idiot that gets stuck in the first place.